Texas State Representatives plan to travel Texas to get input from people here on solutions to stop mass shootings. The new Mass Violence and Community Safety House Committee met for the first time today. Kexan's West Rappaport explains the group's priorities. It goes without saying the Texans are hurting. From changes to gun sales to social media tracking, Texas lawmakers are exploring solutions after deadly mass shootings in El Paso and Odessa. Most significant threat right now is a self-radicalized lone actor using available weapons against soft targets. That's number one. And so we say self-radicalized, it goes to the propaganda. And the propaganda has proliferated throughout the internet world. And of course, some of that is racially based. Okay, neo-Nazis, Christian identity. The Texas Department of Public Safety's top official says that's what happened in El Paso. Theory about uh, Muslims replacing, uh, Muslims from uh, African countries replacing Anglos, okay, uh, Christian Anglos in countries, in other countries in Europe. And of course, New Ze he took it to New Zealand. And of course, the, the mass shooter in, uh, in El Paso took that theory and applied it to Hispanics. Department leaders say they're watching for racist rhetoric online and acknowledge there are shortcomings in identifying a potential for violence. We're not doing all we can with protective orders where judges have actually said this individual shouldn't have a firearm. They're, they're suspected of domestic violence or stalking or sexual assault. And the judges said that, but we're not checking on them. Things that aren't going to infringe on the Second Amendment, but common sense solutions that just make it more difficult for shooters to you know, commit crimes against people. Wes Rappaport, KXAN News. The committee has until December the 4th to submit a preliminary report to the Speaker of the House. They will ultimately recommend changes to state law. A similar committee on the Senate side will meet on September 26th.